Hi YouTube, welcome to another edition of Horror Hands and for this video I'm going to be going through my top 5 favourite Italian cannibal movers. So this video was inspired by Mr Wicker. I recently watched his video on his top 5 favourite cannibal films and he tended to focus on cannibal films in general whereas I'm going to focus on the Italian cannibal films from the 70s and 80s. These are a series of films that I've always enjoyed and found interesting uh, despite the controversial nature. And having said that, I understand that these films can be like really violent and have a lot of unpleasant things in them. So if you're not a fan of these movies, that's, that's totally cool. But if you are a fan, I'll get straight into the countdown. And at number five, we have Man from Deep River. So this is a early example of the Italian cannibal genre. This is from the early 70s. It's directed by Umberto Lenzi, who actually directs three of the five movies on this list, which is insane. Stars Ivan Rasimov as a guy whose plane crashes into the jungle and he's taken by a cannibal tribe and held captive and it sees all their barbaric ways of life and gets tortured and things like that. It's uh, it's not as as cruel and harsh as some of the later cannibal movies, but um, it, it does deliver in terms of the blood and, and violence and things like that. Unfortunately, it does have a scattering of animal cruelty, as do all these movies, which is never something that I like to see. But it's, a, it's an interesting example of the genre kind of finding itself and, and finding its, its roots. Probably a good movie to start with if you want to get into these kind of movies. But I would, I would warn anyone about these films about kind of the violence and, and the animal cruelty and things like that. But good one to start with. At number four, we have Mountain of the Cannibal God. Starring Ursula Andres and Stacey Keach. So this has always been a, a, a fun and an interesting watch for me. It has all the, the hallmarks of the typical Italian cannibal genre. So people getting lost in the jungle. People upsetting cannibals. Getting tortured and killed. Uh, animal cruelty and unpleasant things like that. But there's also kind of like a, an Indiana Jones style adventure plot to this one as well. And... It's kind of a strange mix of sort of upbeat adventure and then like really grim and violent cannibal movie. So it's a real interesting concoction of a film. Um, also got to got to give credit to Ursula Andres and Stacey Keach who really really throw themselves uh, into their roles and into the uh, the, the savageness of the, of the jungle, if you will. And like I say. Always been one that I've enjoyed, and uh, like Man from Deep River, probably a good one to start with if you if you want to to get into these kind of films. Although again, it does have some real unpleasant stuff in this one. Right, number three is probably the film that a lot of people would put at number one, but that's Cannibal Holocaust. So probably the most shocking and disturbing and and violent uh, and upsetting film in this uh, series of movies um, but probably the most well made as well this is a very accomplished film in in achieving what it sets out to do which is you know shock and repulse and and upset people but it's also got an interesting kind of cultural and social message as well going through it which is interesting if you want to explore that kind of thing i probably don't need to say too much about this one because if you're watching this video then chances are you've seen this or you at least know about it but part of the movie is uh, found footage which kind of adds to the realism and there is also some uh, real things going on in this uh, in terms of like animal violence and things like that so really hard hitting uh, disturbing film it's a tough watch but it's a movie that I've always respected for for what it is and for for how well it's it's made so that is my number three. Number two is Cannibal Ferox. Again, another one that I've enjoyed, always enjoyed. It's uh, 
bunch of people, t typical, this is probably the most kind of typical cannibal film for me. Just a bunch of people going to the jungle, get lost, upset the cannibals and get tortured and killed. That's pretty much it. But it, uh, it's enjoyable for what it is. I find that a, a bit like Mountain of the Cannibal God, this one has a bit more of a of an adventurous feel to it. There's a bit of adventure in there as well as the really gruesome uh, killings and things like that. I quite enjoy, like, quite like the characters in this one. The characters are pretty decent, and uh, it's just been one that I've uh, I've enjoyed ever since I, I saw it. Really, so that one is number two, and number one is Eaten Alive. I've always really enjoyed this one, and I think it's mainly down to the plot. What they do with this one, instead of just having people go to the jungle, get lost, and get killed by cannibals. They incorporate a story which was actually based on a real story of, um, I, I forget what it's known as, but there was a cult of people who were all brainwashed and they, they all killed themselves. They all drank something and, 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 and it killed them and it was reported globally around the world. And they actually kind of incorporate that storyline into this film where a woman has joined this bizarre cult in the jungle and her sister goes to the jungle to try and find her and along the way her sister and the people that she's with they they come across her with this cult and also with tribes of cannibals so there's the usual uh, extreme gore uh, animal cruelty and all that kind of thing plus this kind of cult storyline as well and i always quite like that i thought they added a bit more to the cannibal genre rather than just getting lost in the jungle and, and killed so yeah this has always been the one that i've enjoyed the most so my number my number one favorite cannibal film is eaten alive so let me know what you think of that guys do you agree with this list or is there, there other movies that you prefer prefer more let me know so thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more videos